Welcome to the channel, friends. So today I wanna to do an update video when it comes to the RTH 2510 and RTH 2410 programmable thermostats. I wanna cover the factory reset and also the uh, setup menu on the thermostat. So I wanna elaborate more than my original video because there is some stuff that I wanna just uh, cover. So to get to the setup menu, you have to hold down these two buttons right here. So if you hold down these two buttons, now you're going to get a bigger character and a smaller character. The first one is the function, and then the second one here, which is the smaller number, is the setting. Now, these are the, the setup configuration settings that you want to take care of when you first install this device. It's very important. As you can see, there is a few selections, and I'm going to go through them with you, and I'm going to show you exactly what they are. And uh, this could help your thermostat run better, depending on uh, your system type, etc., things like that. So it's very important to double check that those settings are correct, and um, that way your your thermostat is operating um, correctly for your for the home that you have it in. So I just showed you how to get there. I also want to show you on the back of the device, when you take off the back plate, you have this right here. You have a selection for gas or oil or electric or heat pump. So I have it set to gas and oil. That's the most common setting, most likely. Uh, that's going to cover all the applications in the United States. Uh, but it does have a different setting here, so just make sure that's set correctly. And uh, another thing I want to cover is there's a little warning here that says to set the system switch to off before removing the batteries. So what they mean is this switch right here. So if you look right here, it goes from heat, off, and cool. So you want to be in the off position when you're changing your batteries. So that's another tip. Uh, for this thermostat. So let's cover the actual setup menu and what it means. Okay, so let's get right into it and function number one. So that's going to be like I showed you when you hold this down, function number one and then the setting. So we have function number one is select system type. So we have zero is for heating and cooling and one is for heat pump with auxiliary slash backup heat. Function number five is select your heating system and optimize its operation. So your heating system type five would be gas or oil furnace. Six would be electric furnace. Number three would be heat pump, hot water, or high efficiency furnace. And number two is gas, oil, steam, or gravity system. So you will have to figure out what type of heating system you have. Okay. And go from there because it's going to want to know that to make the operation uh, correct on your device. Moving along, we have 13, which is select early start. One is on, zero is off. 14, select Fahrenheit or Celsius. That's easy enough. So zero is Fahrenheit and one equals Celsius. 15, select compressor protection setting. So one is on, zero is off. Now, compressor protection at the below here, it says... This feature forces the compressor to wait five minutes before restarting to prevent equipment damage. During the wait time, the message cool on or heat on may be displayed on the screen. So this is so your compressor doesn't over cycle um, per hour. So it will only want it to cycle a certain amount of times per hour to save the equipment from um, getting all beat up and, and, and really overheated from the turn on cycle. So that helps save your equipment. So I would leave that on. So some air conditioning units will actually have a timer 
outside on the outdoor unit um, to delay the start of the unit. So that's another thing to th think about. But this here is basically an override when it comes to the thermostat. The thermostat itself will prevent it from turning on um, after five minutes of a shutdown. So we'll give it that break time in between. So moving along, number 20 is set clock display. Zero equals 12 hours and one equals 24 hour display. 21 is select change filter timer. Zero is off, one is 30 days, two is 90 days, three is six months, four is nine months, and five is one year. And the last one, 40, is to restore program to default settings. Now, this doesn't work as you think it does. It doesn't restore all these settings here. What it does is only restore the schedule. So if you want to turn the schedule off and have your own programming, then you will have zero. So zero is off, one is on. So on meeting, the program schedule default settings are listed on page 12. So if you have it on selection one, meaning on, it will go to these defaults right here, as you can see. So four time periods a day, wake, leave, return, and sleep. So it will default to 70 and 78 for cool, 62 for heat and 85 for cool, 70 for heat and 78 for cool and for sleep it's going to be the heat is at set at 62 and cooling is at 82 degrees so this right here just kicks back the the temperatures um, to a, a default setting which is standard to save energy um, you can go ahead and obviously change that but you're going to have to go ahead and select zero on your thermostat if you want to actually program it because there could be a conflict if you try to change your programming and this right here is set to one. So that will give you an issue. It'll just default back to the default, the scheduling times here. So that's really important to know, to have good operation of this thermostat. And I think I covered everything I wanted to cover. You know, I wanted just to go over the list, the setup menu, and to show you guys those extra features, the button on the back, some people might not even know that's there. So that's going to be it for the video, guys. I really hope you enjoy this video. And if you have any other questions or comments, please place them right down below. I want to thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.